Since the new release of the brand new Indigo Disc Blueberry Academy trailer, we have some new information, some new screenshots, some new leaks and such regarding everything about Indigo Disc. So, first of all, I just want to start off with some of these screenshots from Riddler Q. He posted a picture of a character with Archaludon. Which is one of the new Pokemon coming in the Indigo Disc DLC, and I actually think it's a really cool Pokemon. At first, I was like, really? A bridge? You- they made a bridge as a Pokemon, but he quickly grew on me. I actually like his design a lot. A lot of people say that he might actually be like the bridge to the Unova region, like some type of reference to the Unova region, because the Blueberry Academy is actually based in the Unova region, which is really, really unique and cool, and I'm really hoping that we get some- some lore, some type of stuff that connects, like, that really connects it to the Unova region. Like, like I hope some of the storyline has something to do with maybe some of the black and white characters, or just literally anything regarding the Unova region. Like, I hope they don't just mention it, you know what I'm saying? I hope that they actually go in-depth a little bit. But anyways, I also got two other pictures of Archie Lodon right here, where he kind of, like, changes his form a little bit, actually looking like a real bridge. And here's another picture of him like charging up his ability really cool looking pokemon he looks pretty big um definitely i actually i might put him on my team just to mess around with him a little bit also really quickly guys i'm doing a giveaway when i hit 10,000 subs for a 20 dollars nintendo eShop gift card so all i have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video comment down below let me know you want to be in the giveaway stay tuned for future videos and subscribe to the channel and then you'll be entered and then when i actually hit 10,000, i'll be announcing that giveaway winner Next up, we got a picture of a character running around, and there's an Oricorio uh, just right in front of him. But just look at all the colors. Like, I've heard so many people talk about how this DLC, like, the people that were able to actually play the DLC a little early for, like, an hour or whatever. Like, they were invited by the Pokemon company or whatever to actually go play the Indigo Disc early, which is really, really cool. A lot of people claim that this map, the Blueberry Academy area, feels so much more alive, and the colors are more vibrant. Which I'm super excited to see how the map completely looks because it kind of makes sense that it would be more vibrant, more alive because it's a smaller map than the regular Paldea map. So it's like they can have, they could put more effort into putting more colors and more flowers and bushes and random stuff throughout the map because there's less space so they don't have to make so much filler if that makes sense because with the regular paldea map there are some areas that are just kind of empty because it's like what are you going to put there besides just nature and grass and rocks whatever but i really like the cubes i'm really curious to see what the cubes do like what are what's the purpose of the cubes i don't think anyone has come out and said anything about it so i have no information about it but i'm going to assume that like maybe the cubes are what kind of like render maybe plants like they just kind of create like a visual effect of like a plant i i don't know if that makes sense the cubes may just do nothing but the cubes look cool it's cool to see the flowers and the bright bushes in this picture the third screenshot we got is a flygon which you can actually control so within the indigo disc dlc i believe after you complete the entire storyline of the new dlc part two whatever you can actually get the synchro machine where you can control a pokemon or play as a pokemon which is really cool you can play as any pokemon you want you could use rayquaza reshiram pikachu charge a bug literally whatever whatever pokemon you want which is really cool and um the next screenshot is uh mascarada being controlled or whatever but it looks like he's actually battling pokemon so I'm going to assume that when you control a Pokemon, you could do like a game mode, like a fun just game. You try to knock out as many Pokemon as you can or something. You could probably also do it just for like leisurely purposes, like just for fun, just to fire on the map. Hopefully fire on the map, actually, because like if you're using Lugia, I would imagine you could hopefully fly. I hope you're not just like locked down to the ground, like just hovering above the ground. But anyways... Super cool, I can't wait to see exactly how this feature works and what the real purpose is because it's after the storyline, so it makes me think that it's just something that's more for fun, just something like an extra, an extra bonus kind of activity or feature we get to have. Another tweet from Riddler Q is a picture of Kieran, which he has a new hairstyle that's purple, and the biggest theory right now that everyone's saying is what if Kieran has the new legendary i don't think it's officially named like i don't think the name has been leaked yet or anything but doku taro is like what it's based off of i don't think that's the actual name of the pokemon i'm pretty sure that's like what it's based off of from like the japanese book series or not series just like a japanese book anyways 
So people are thinking that Kieran is like being mind controlled or attached to this Pokemon because Kieran had some type of dark side to him within the teal mask. Like you could kind of see him develop a little bit of some darkness, you know what I'm saying? So what if he was like infected by Dogutaro, the new legendary Pokemon? If you don't know what that is, it's the like new purple Pokemon with like chains and it looks like a peach. It's the peach Pokemon. And um, there's like, also another picture that I can't find on the internet. I don't know why I can't find it, but it's like of the back of his hair, like his bun, I guess I'll call it. It kind of resembles the peach a little bit. This could just be nothing, honestly. Like it could literally just be he has purple hair now, but it would be pretty cool if he had something to do with the new legendary Pokemon. Another thing that makes me think that is that Riddler Q also posted the useless duo and Kieran is not in this picture. So it seems like Kieran actually has more of a story within the Indigo Disc, more so than like Nimona and stuff, which is pretty cool. Can't wait to see what happens with that. Another piece of information we got is from PLDH uh, over on Twitter. He posted that Venusaur and Blastoise have had their models overhauled for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Just like Charizard, Venusaur is visible in a previous trailer, though obscured by of the terrestrialization effect. So it looks like... The three OG starters, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, have a new 3D style to them. So Venusaur, overall, I'd say he looks pretty similar. His face looks a little bit more like sharper in the jawline area. His blue body looks a little bit darker. That could just be the shadows within the game, though, within the screenshot. Venusaur looks great. Charizard, in my opinion, it kind of looks like they're going back to the OG style of Charizard being like a bit more, I guess, roundish in a way. And I feel like his color also looks lighter orange, and I feel like they have been going with like a darker orange in recent years. So Charizard looks awesome, and then Blastoise, everyone's saying he looks more so like an actual hippo, which is so true. It looks great. He, it's just like, it's very subtle. It's very subtle changes, right? But it's just enough to make it look really good. It's like, I'm, I'm glad that they're putting in effort to actually make some 3D changes within some of the OG Pokemon. I think these Pokemon look great. I can't wait to see how they look in my game. And I also can't wait to see how all the other starters look because I'm pretty sure we're getting all of the brand new, because I'm pretty sure we're getting all of the starter Pokemon that have ever existed within this DLC. Like, I'm pretty sure we're getting all generations of starter Pokemon that are and they will be available in the Indigo Disc DLC. And also something very small is that um, there's new icons that are available through like the Nintendo Switch Online reward program of just some of the characters from the Indigo Disc and a few Pokemon and stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's nothing crazy. That doesn't have anything to do with the actual game itself, but some cool little information in case you want to change like your profile picture on your Switch. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.